YouTube is Amphian and Edits, the YouTube channel that's all about your video editing, hints, tips and tricks, as well as bargains that I find online and give to you at a discounted price. Here in this video, I'm about to teach you how to edit like Casey Neistat. I think that's how you pronounce Casey's second name. But if you don't know him, he's that famous YouTuber who's made a living by traveling the world and showing you like, you know, crazy flights and, and, and hotels and train stations and he's a traveling blogger YouTuber. So let's get into it. Let's show you how to edit like Casey Neistat. All right, so let's get into it. The software we're using to do this effect and to edit like Casey Neistat is Final Cut Pro X. So this will be really useful for any of you Final Cut Pro X users out there. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the clips that I want to use into our timeline. The two techniques that Casey uses throughout his videos are jump cuts and time lapses. Those are the sort of really impressive edits that Casey uses within his videos and keeps his audience engaged. And that is what we're gonna do with our clip now. First, taking away the sound away from the clip, if we don't do that, when we modify the speed of the clip, you're either going to hear it either slow down or speed It's going to sound really odd. So we want to take away the sound away from your clip when you've imported it. If you're doing a time lapse or a jump cut. If you do a jump cut, you'll have a skip of sound. You will basically have a missing piece of sound within your clip when you've made the jump cut, which would be really odd. Um, so a jump cut is supposed to create an illusion of the passing or the rapid passing of time in a different way to what a time lapse is. A time lapse, you can see the passing of time, a jump cut, you're jumping from one time frame to the other. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna speed up one of these sections of our clips after we've made a cut. And if you've noticed, I've also made two cuts within that clip as well before I've modified the speed. Uh, the way you modify the speed, if you go back in the video, if you've missed that, Go to the top tab, select modify, and then select your speed, change. Uh, I selected a two times speed and then dragged the speed accordingly to get to the effect that I want. So now I'm gonna make another cut a few frames into the next uncut part of the clip to finish off the effect of the time lapse, making it seem like I've sped up the action of me putting my jumper on, and then once the jumper is on, I'm back to normal timing. This completes the effect of a time lapse as it shows the passing of time during an action and stops when the action has been complete. I'm now going to do the exact same thing for when I'm taking the jumper off, but I'm going to speed this process up as you already know how to do this as I've just shown you. Now that I've done this on the first clip and shown a time lapse effect, I'm now going to insert my music selection as well as my second clip. And we're going to do the exact same thing with the second clip. See here we've got a clip that hasn't successfully shown the passing of enough time so we're going to speed it up even more to get to the desired effect of passing time. That's much better. So, like our clip before, we want to show that a time lapse has occurred. So we're going to select the clip again because we actually modified the whole clip and we're going to normalize the speed of the second half of the clip. Which actually does pan out very well for this as it is a slow motion shot, so it looks even better. Now we're gonna insert some text on top of our clips. And I'm gonna find the text here in the text tab and I think I'm going to go for a custom actually. So I'm not going to type in custom at the top and find a normal custom text layer. I'm going to insert this on top of my clip. What Casey likes to do is he doesn't actually use any transitions on the text as well. They literally just pop up on the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to type in the text that we want to display on screen. As you can see, it's coming up small and fine. All you need to do here is once you've typed in the text that you have, so we're going to do this now, we're going to type, it, type in, literally type in a subject or something that relays a message about what the time lapse is about. Not only does this effect look good once it's complete, it also gives the viewer a little bit of context as to what is happening, as you can have a time lapse of basically anything. You could have like traffic, but if you film traffic for a reason, 
you know this could give your viewers the reason of why you've done this so this clip began of me taking off and putting on my hoodie now you're starting to understand that it's actually about me going shopping for new clothes so what we're doing now is we're selecting the text that I want I did have it I'm just gonna go back and yeah there we go that's the one and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make this text a lot bigger and as you can see this is starting to come together now um, so that's what you want to do you want to make your text a lot bigger I'm gonna actually change this part to shopping vlog um, and just move it more or less just a bit center just above center line so it catches your eye in the right place another thing you can do is you can actually line up your text you know it's, it's not a transition but you want to line up your text with some sound so when a selected sound in your music hits your text can actually pop up on screen Casey does the exact same thing and uh, I'm just gonna add vlog one so rather than actually recreating that text layer again we want to keep the same font we want to keep the same size we can just literally copy and paste that layer that text layer I'm gonna do it next to it not on top of it so that it doesn't overwrite the layer then we're just literally going to resize that layer so that it actually sits on top of our clips now you want to change what this text says we don't want it to say shopping vlog one twice <laughs> so we're just going to change uh, shopping vlog to boring birmingham if you've heard of the boring in birmingham it's one of the biggest shopping centers in the uk just a bus journey away from where i live so uh just thought it was appropriate to use that uh, so here it is, I'm just realigning the text so that my viewers will be able to see that. Um, don't be actually afraid to see parts of the font fade out to the white balance of your clip. Um, it will change due to the movement. And there we have it. So making sure that there is a break within each text insert. As you can see, there is a break between each text insert with no transition or change to the text this gives the same effect of the text literally popping on screen again you can line this up with the music in your timeline as well to give it the effect that the music is popping with the text that appears on screen over the top of your time lapse this is an effective Casey nice stat edit that can make your videos stand out so before we say goodbye and have a look at our finished edit I'd like to ask you all to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see videos similar, for example, if you want to do this effect, but with jump cuts next time, because Casey also used jump cuts, and we did mention that at the start of the video and we haven't used it within this video. If you'd like to see how to use jump cuts in your video like Casey Neistat, then hit the comment section and ask away and I will make that video if it's something that you want to see. But for now, thank you for watching. Let's have a look at the finished video and see how it turned out and see you in the next video here on Anthony Allen Edits.